and thank you for the opportunity to weigh in on this important matter. My name is Laura Burns. I'm the Ohio organizer for Moms Clean Air Force, um, and I would like to talk to you today about the Clean Energy Incentive Program. It is key to the U.S. realizing its full potential as a country that finds its energy from clean sources that do not leave us in an irreversible environmental debt. There are many reasons for action on climate change through our energy sources, but the moral responsibility should be a primary consideration. It is our responsibility to protect our children from harmful impacts to their health. It is our joy to look for methods to protect them that not only keep them safe, but make sense for our environment. I'd like to remind you that children who suffer the most from the impacts of climate change are those living in low-income communities. No one should carry the weight of the pollution created by energy generation, but it certainly should not fall on the shoulders of these children. Investment in efficiency improvements and weatherization in affordable housing or even solar in low-income neighborhoods are few and far between. Incentivizing new projects through the Clean Energy Incentive Program will also help expand existing programs in ways that would not otherwise be possible. The CEIP has the potential to create environmental benefits in communities that need it, directly protecting the health of the children who live in these communities. You may not live next door to them or know them personally, but these children are our children, friends of our children, our co-workers, and our families through the beauty of community. I ask that you keep this in mind as you work to solidify the details of the CEIP. Please ensure that those who are in lower income communities are also able to benefit. Reduction in carbon emissions benefit the planet, my children and family, and the families who live where the pollution generators operate. Emissions reductions lead to health benefits in every community, but overwhelmingly in the communities who share their neighborhoods with the worst polluters. My community in Ohio has a significant percentage occupied by low-income families who would personally benefit from cleaner air. Currently, Ohio is ranked second in the nation for worst air quality thanks to our heavy-duty polluters. Our children suffer from asthma and missed school days and sitting on the sidelines of their soccer games. Ending our reliance on fossil fuels and making renewable energy accessible to low-income communities should be the goal for energy use. I ask that the EPA ensure that the Clean Energy Incentive Program be made as accessible as possible to all communities around our nation so that each family can take a breath of clean air that means the difference to their health and their futures. Thank you so much.